Here's a look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Erin Kennedy. A police officer at the center of a wrongful death lawsuit against the city is expected to take the stand. Mike Puccinelli has that story. And we expect Riamo to take the stand this afternoon at around 2.30. Right now, a $750 an hour forensic pathologist is on the stand testifying about bullet trajectories on behalf of the LeGreer family. At issue, Riamo's actions on December 26th of 2015. Those actions claimed the lives of 19-year-old Quintonio LeGreer and innocent bystander Betty Jones. Riamo and his partner were called to a west side home because of a disturbance involving LeGreer. That's when Riamo says the teenager came at him with a baseball bat, which was held up in court yesterday by Riamo's attorney. Officer Riamo then fired, hitting the teenager five times, including several times in his back. Joel Brodsky argued that his client, out of fear for his life, was forced to fire his weapon at LeGreer. Hearing about her son's last moments caused Janet Cooksey to run from the courtroom in tears. She has great reason to, to grieve, and, but again, she's determined that she's going to stick it through this trial because this is important. This is her son's life, and this is her opportunity to try and get justice. The point is, is that Officer Riamo was reacting to a man who was trying to kill him with a baseball bat, and he had no choice but to, uh, but to fire his weapon. Now, the city has agreed to settle with the family of Betty Jones for a tentative $16 million. Riamo has testified already in a couple depositions, but this will mark the first time that he tells his story in open court. And now here's meteorologist Megan Glaros with your forecast. Hey there everybody. Showers and storms are a good likelihood for us out there today. It is going to be something we'll have to deal with. 80 degrees the high temperature today will be in the upper 70s for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We do have a chance of some showers and storms today. Tomorrow little break on Thursday and then that chance revs back up again Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So you can expect to see a definite cool down compared to yesterday. But here comes the rain.